Back in the basement again today to talk about this bar from the Strength Co. called the Core Bar. Now you're probably familiar with the Strength Co. I have their plates and every time I post them on Instagram, people always ask what they are. They get confused a lot with the Rogue Deep Dish, but they are by far my favorite plates and I don't regret selling my Rogue Six Shooters for them. But that's another story in another video. Today's video is to focus on their powerlifting barbell, which I haven't seen many people post about and I've owned it for a couple of months. I am a little bit behind in my reviews when it comes to equipment. Part of that problem is I have something like 25 barbells right now in my basement and that's after having gotten rid of a bunch of them. So it's just tough to give stuff adequate time, enough to come back and give you a video on it. So I wanna talk about this bar today and I gotta tell you, spoiler alert, I have some very high praise for this bar. And if you don't wanna hear the rest of the review, what I'll tell you is this compares very favorably to things like the Ohio Power Bar and the Texas Power Bar, which are two of the probably most popular and well-known barbells out there. And like that, this one here is made in the USA, in Minnesota, in fact. So this bar itself stands up very well. And you can kind of see why if you take a look at the specs behind it, right? It's a 29 millimeter bar, which I think is the right amount of actual girth for a power bar. I do love my Texas power bars and all the bars I have from them, but 28 and a half and 29, if I had the choice, I'm always gonna go 29. This bar is 29 millimeter. It has good aggressive knurling on it, which is something that is always kind of a surprise to me and something that you don't know what you're gonna get. Kind of like a box of chocolates in Forrest Gump. Every time you open up one of those barbell tubes, you have high expectations and they're not always met to the expectations you have, especially when someone says on the advertising that it's aggressive powerlifting type neural, and I've had my fair share of passive shafts in my hand. This bar did not disappoint. Now, when you take a look at the knurling on this bar itself, it's actually really similar in look to the Ohio Power Bar, but feeling these two by side by side, I can tell you that this one, the Strength Co Bar, definitely has more grit to it. I think the reason behind that is, is when you take a look close up at the knurling, you can see that the volcano type knurl that this bar has isn't cut as deep as the Rogue Ohio Power Bar. So while the Ohio Power Bar, again, is typically my daily driver, it has one of the grippiest feels out there, which I really prefer because it doesn't tear up your hands. If you're on the fence about it or find that you want something with a little bit more bite, this bar would probably be it because it offers kind of a hybrid of both roles. It's not quite as aggressive as let's say the Texas Power Bar, but it is more so aggressive in feel to the Ohio Power Bar. So again, it fits in that lineup very, very well. Now, when you take a look at the rest of the specs, it's to what's be expected, you're right? Standard barbell length has 190K PSI. It has bushings on it that are made from bronze. So overall, the bar looks and feels very good. The actual sleeves on here itself, the collar is pretty small. So depending on if you like your bars extra stiff, you will find that this bar is gonna be pretty stiff. And when you pair that up with all the other specs, what I found personally is this is a fantastic fantastic bar to bench, squat, and deadlift with. Now, the one thing you're gonna be wanting to be made aware of that if you're using this bar in a rogue rack like I am, because the collars are somewhat smaller, you may find that the weights are closer to the uprights, which may cause you to hit them on walking out, but the easy solution there is just clean up your walkout. And one of these bars like this, or the Ohio Power Bar, will really force you to do that. If you're looking for something that you're not gonna have that problem with, that's where a Texas Power Bar does have some benefit with its extremely thick collars, pushing the weights out slightly further, but it's gonna cause a little bit more width because again, it's 20 and a half millimeters as well. So this bar, 29 millimeters, 190K PSI, good aggressive knurling, very stiff bar overall. And I gotta say, it looks the part too. This is a good looking barbell. And for me, when you take a look at a lot of the bars I review, you don't typically see bars that look like this. You're probably thinking to yourself, that's either gotta be stainless steel or bare steel. And truth be told, it's neither. A lot of the barbells I tend to prefer are stainless or bare, or I'll review Cerakote bars or black zinc bars or black phosphate bars. You don't see many bars like this come through the basement, and this is a bright zinc barbell. Now. The interesting thing about Bright Zinc is number one, it does look very well and it does also offer some good resistance to corrosion. But one of the things that's interesting is a couple of years ago, Black Zinc was probably the most popular fitness of all bars out there. But as many people have come to find out, myself included, it does dull the feel of the neural just a little bit, as well as over time, that Black Zinc is going to fade and rub and not look very attractive. The Bright Zinc, however, fixes some of that. 
True, this still will kind of limit the knurling feel just a little bit. I'll talk about that in just one second. But in terms of the look of the finish itself, if it's to fade, it doesn't have any other color to go to. So I actually really like this and it has this really bright, shiny silver metallic feel, which I really, really like. Now, in terms of the knurling, one of the benefits of this bar over, let's say, a Rogue Ohio Power Bar is, again, because those volcano peaks aren't cut as deep, the knurling itself isn't as impacted because there's not as much to fill in per se. So this still does offer a very good feel. And again, I would put this at a little bit more gritty over something like the Ohio Power Bar. Now the sleeves themselves, nothing really to talk about in terms of the finish, nothing out of the ordinary. But I think overall, when you take a look at this bar, it has a lot going for it. And as I mentioned already, I really enjoy squatting, benching, and deadlifting with it. Now just some quick notes of other things I wanna call out is the center knurl on here while present is on a little bit of the shorter side. This is a four inch center knurl, similar to what you'll find in a Texas power bar. Personally, I prefer center knurls to be a little bit bigger. I like them to cover more area on my back. The Ohio power bar is like four and a half inches and you will find other bars at five or six, but it'll still give you some smooth parts so you're not necessarily eating up your shins on stuff like conventional deadlifts, sumo deadlifts, and fortunately, it's part of the game. You're gonna get your shins chewed up regardless, and that should be kind of karma for pulling sumo. Now, last thing I wanna talk about with this bar is the price, because that's always something that's important to people. And again, I wanna reiterate that this is a made in the USA barbell, and I would put it in line with performance-wise, the Ohio Power Bar and the Texas Power Bar. There are some other Made in America barbells out there that I would consider upper class like the Kabuki, but the Kabuki bar is gonna cost you about double that price and for the return, I just don't think it's as valid. So I don't think many people would be willing to buy that bar, even though it is a fantastic power bar. This core bar from the Strength Co. retails at 325, which I think is a very good price. Again, not only does this fit in spec wise with some of the other bars that I've mentioned, but price wise as well. And I actually have a discount code for this particular bar at the Strength Co. If you use basement, it knocks 10% off of that and brings it down to roughly like $292 or so, which if you take a look at the Black Zinc Ohio Power Bar or the Black Zinc Texas Power Bar is basically the same price. So not only does this meet up spec wise with those bars, price wise as well, I mentioned I do like this bar and I think it's another great option from a made in the USA company for a high quality barbell specifically made for powerlifting. Now, if you have any other questions or comments, leave those in the comment section below. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.